what is up my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and this video is going to be a book review um it's a story that i read like a month ago but i've been meaning to do a video about it but it slipped my mind but um if you can see this uh, it's the billion bankers box set and i just broke my wow what a way to start a video um i think i can okay i'm not gonna worry about it um <laughs> the billionaire banker series so it's a um the <laughs> i'm like really that threw me off guard um georgia lecre i hope that's how you pronounce it she's the author and um I got it from Kindle Unlimited. It was one of the books that was available. And um, you know what? This isn't an ad, but I just want to throw that out there. I love Kindle Unlimited because you can have up to 10 books in your library at a time. And you can read as much as you want for $9.99 a month. Who doesn't love that? Especially somebody like me that reads all the time. Um, but yeah, this billionaire banker series it's called a box set it um it has three books in here it looks like but i think it's really just two and the last part is um unless i was reading so fast and flipping through it it just seems to be um the story from blake's point of view not the whole book but just like a few um important moments but um yeah this story is about lena and blake and it's my favorite kind of story setup um because it's the rich guy who quote unquote saves like the poor girl you know get her out of her settings into something better and they fall in love but it's i have a few critiques at the same time now i don't know if i'm just not smart enough to get it or because it kind of ruined the book for me. So Lena is like from the poor part of town. And her thing was she was getting with another guy. You know basically. Call it what it is. Prostituting. Selling herself for 30 days. So she can get the money to um, pay for her mom's surgery. And I believe they're. Oof. I'm going off the top of my head. I believe it's in Europe because she's sending she's sending her to America. So I believe it's Europe. That's where they are. Um and the uh, it's another man like watching from afar and he doesn't want her he doesn't want her to be with the guy that she's um what is it propositioning herself to so he steps in and offers to pay double and that's Blake. So Blake offers to pay double what, um, I forgot the man, cause he's not important, what he was offering to pay. So she accepts and, um, you know, Blake, I think it's Barrington, like his name holds weight. He's a billionaire. Everybody knows about him, about his family. And so she agrees. He gets her set up into an apartment. She now has a driver anywhere. Um, she wants to go. She was fired from her job so you know that freed up her time so she's available to him if and when well not if but whenever he wants so you know basically she's a kept woman for the time being but she thought it was going to be 30 days he actually put it in the contract for three months it was three to four months and um she had to did i say that already? she had to sign an nda you know um and everything was going smoothly, quote unquote. You know, she brought him to meet her mom. And it was a nice little arrangement until she, of course, find in these stories, how these stories go. She finds herself falling for him. But come to find out, he is already, what's the word? Betrothed or however you say that word to somebody else. And um, so, you know, this is literally just a fun time for him. So she tries to distance herself, but of course he doesn't allow that. It's like, which makes no sense. Cause that's the thing that always gets me in these types of setups. It's like, you know, this is what it is. And then when you try to follow those guidelines and you know, like distance yourself, they don't allow that. So it's just like, so what's the point of setting rules if nobody's gonna follow them? Um, 
So anyway, uh, the thing that kind of ruined the story for me, there's like this background of a cult. I call it a cult, like a cult thing going on. It's just like things she doesn't need to know about the billionaire family. And um, I don't, is it the devil? Like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It was because there's like a ceremony where you have to sacrifice your firstborn child to be a, a part of the family, to be, um, what is it, like the leader, to keep your status. I don't, it, it threw me off because it's just like, it wasn't important to the story. And it's like the main story is you have this billionaire guy who got with this poor girl and, you know, and they fell in love. And I get that. It's just like she wouldn't be a part of the world because she doesn't get how things work and then it's but when you read the story it's confusing it's the only thing that like messes me up because it's just like why was this included um and the way the first book ends is um Blake doesn't think his fian fiance um Victoria knows about his thing with Lena but she does and she goes to Lena and offers her uh was it $200,000 to leave like to break it off and leave and she does she thinks she's doing the right thing cuz you know like um they're never going to be together you know that Victoria that's her husband so she takes it and she leaves but um before that she was walking and almost got hit by a car but blake like threw her out of the way and the car hit him instead so it looks like she left him at his lowest point and it's like what a few months later or something oh i forgot to mention um you know she had got the money as soon as she signed the nda slash contract the money was deposited into her account so she Flew her mom um, and her best friend to America to have the surgery. And everything was going great with her mom. So that's the way the first book ends. The second book ends with her coming back. And she's um, at a bank looking to apply for a loan to start a company. And Blake is there at the bank. And she's like, you know, like, what are you doing here? You don't deal with small things like this. And he was tracking her waiting for her to come back for this you know if she ever needed anything to do with money he was gonna be there and um she tells him that her best friend had a baby and so they're opening up a clothing store um in the baby's name or whatever and also that somehow they got in the conversation that her mother passed away and he was like you know i thought the operation worked i thought she was all good she got hit by a car and that whew, that is irony for you it's like dealing with cancer you know you're battling that and you get over that hump to die getting hit by a car and it's just like wow um but anyway so in order for her to get the loan she has to finish out their contract and she says that she'll do it free of charge but on certain days she babysits the baby and dun, 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 the baby is really hers but he doesn't need to know that because a part of the contract was if she ever became pregnant it was up to his discretion you know what happened and I think like she was supposed to be on the pill and all that type of stuff so being pregnant shouldn't have even been a possibility but somehow it happened um so he's like, yeah, you know, whatever, sure, I'll buy the things that you need to keep the baby over there. And so they fall back into the same old thing again, but he's much more mean to her this time. And I didn't like that, um, but I get it because he doesn't know what happened. So he's feeling away thinking that she just left him. And so, um, of course, he figures out that that's his baby and, you know, he was never going to marry victoria anyway um but his dad you know i guess his dad figured it out too because his dad shows up one day to the apartment where it's just lena and the baby and he's looking at the baby and that's what i say when it goes back to this background story of you have to sacrifice your firstborn son 
I think it's just a son. You have to sacrifice your firstborn son for whatever it is that keeps their world of controlling the money, controlling the government, you know, controlling the banks. You have to sacrifice your kid in order for that to happen. Um, and so Blake kills his daddy. He Well, he sets it up for him to die in a plane crash but he kills his dad and somehow that's coming back to haunt him in his nightmares because i guess his dad was in charge i don't know it's it's hard to describe because i still don't fully understand it and why it was included in the story but all in all you know i guess if you take that out <laughs> it was a good story i liked it i loved it really because it was cute and, you know, like, they get to live, quote-unquote, happily ever after with them and their baby. And he finally got to do something that he wanted to do. It wasn't part of, uh, you know, something that was set up for him, rules for him to follow. He, he finally got to do it on his own. And he got a baby. He got the woman that he loved instead of forced to be with this other woman that they have no chemistry together. Nothing. It was really set up on... Um, Victoria side she wanted him ever since she was like a little girl and you know it just didn't happen <clears throat> but yeah I, I recommend the books but I just didn't get all that other stuff in the background but yeah the billionaire bankers set um series sorry the um it's called a box set that's what's key throwing me off because it says the billionaire bankers series box set so it's just like words are getting jumbled up in my head but yeah, I highly recommend it. Read it. Maybe you'll understand it better than I do. But yeah, that's my book recommendation for today. I think I'm going to do another one, actually, because I was going to say of the week. But if I'm coming back with another one, then that doesn't make sense. Anyway, peace.